to gain a tactical advantage in these storage units. I'm going to use this as an example. Let's say, for instance, uh, you need a, uh, a washer dryer or a refrigerator or a TV or a bicycle or whatever. And you do some shopping close by to home. Or it doesn't have to be whatever you're comfortable with. And you notice there's a washer and dryer in there. Well, that gave, that gives you a big tactical advantage in that storage unit. Do you know what I'm talking about, Glenn? Yeah. Because what you can do, you can think, what, what, what would I normally have to go out and buy a washer dryer for? You know, if you want to get a good one. And you look at the you go look at a storage unit, and uh, well, if it's got a washer dryer back there, you can think, okay, what is the total that I would pay for that? Then you can take that money, and boom, this unit's free up until the point of that. Yeah, I mean seriously, because say you you say five hundred, get one gently used. Okay, well, you get this unit for five hundred dollars. We're saying it had a washer dryer in it. Well, you basically got this unit for free. So anything that you find is going to be profit because you needed the washer dryer anyway. So this is our one of our podcast tips of the week is gaining a tactical advantage in these units. Or if you've moved into a new place, let's say, <clears throat> okay. And you need furniture. And you're going to have to go shop. Well, you find a unit full of furniture. You like antiques? Buy, buy a load of antique uh, furniture. Then anything else you buy is going to be, or anything else you find in that unit is going to be all profit. But look, as far as tactical advantages, that's what, what? I would do. If you're a new buyer, just look for stuff that you need or want or like. What? So you don't have to be a all out storage auction buyer businessman. I would suggest to anybody that gets into storage auction buying as a newbie is to do it as a hobby till you learn this crap. But use these, use this as the smart way to shop and to get your stuff for free or even make a profit decorating your home, your new place, for instance. Or if you see a lot of tools, maybe you need tools. So buy a unit of tools. What would you have had to pay for them if you didn't buy them in a storage unit? Then you might get those tools for free. So this is just another way of looking at it. They don't show that kind of stuff on storage wars. And that's where a lot of people learn to buy. They think it's all about business. All about, you know, oh, man, all that stuff. Online auctions are the best thing that ever had for newbies because the intimidation factor is gone. I dealt with all these live auctions for years, and you always heard the <laughs> that's gonna throw anybody off, guys. Now you can sit down on your couch with a mouse and make money relaxing and relax if you do this and you get good at it and you lose your job then you got something you can fall back on and in the meantime you don't have to go out and buy furniture from a retail store or whatever you see stuff you want too you don't have to go to Dick Sporting Goods to get a fishing pole. Screw that. There's one right there. You see my point? There's more to this than the business aspect. So that's this week's podcast.